Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Ace Combat Zero, The Belkin War. In the last episode, we had our huge aerial dogfight, mayhem in the B7R airspace. Um, Pixies kind of showing signs of, I don't want to say instability, but maybe ulterior motives. Uh, he had a back and forth with an unnamed pilot, and then got into a little argument with PJ over how uh, causing bloodshed in the air is not necessarily preventing further bloodshed on the ground. So, uh, there's, there's something going on there. We'll see if we can figure out more about that in this next episode. I think there's going to be a cutscene. Let's see. Here My we go. My pulse raced at the astounding accomplishments of the mercenary known as Demon Lord. I forgot about my job and read everything I had on hand. Around the time Demon Lord received his nickname, South Belka showed signs of weariness regarding the war. Because the region was set up as a defense line to protect the birthplace of Belka in the north, the people's dissatisfaction had reached a climax. The cities declared themselves demilitarized and peacefully surrendered to the Allied forces. Unable to establish a defensive position, the Belkin army kept retreating to the north. The end of the war was fast approaching. I was given an opportunity to interview the former aces of the Belkin Air Force. Mm. Back then, they were the masters of the sky. So all of the ace squadrons that we went up against get their so own cutscene. The order to follow his trail. I wanted to capture the war and the demon lord from their point of view. To so these the voices of those who were there. These cutscenes would be different based on what our mercenary rating is when we fight the ace squadrons. So the strategist. Bernard Schmidt, a man with the eyes of an owl. Groom team commander, former member of the Belkin Air Force. 10th Air Division, 8th Tactical Fighter Squadron. Fighting with distinguished service on the battlefield, he earned the title of ace with his uncanny ability to adapt quickly to the flow of battle. Hey, I Pops is dining. Feeling while I was flying towards the round table, why were they having problems down in two mercenaries? I figured it was just temporary chaos and it'd be over by the time I got there. Pilots of the Belkin Air Force are true professionals, but when I saw the situation, I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought maybe my IFF was malfunctioning. There were still two enemies on the radar. Everyone else in my squadron had the same reaction. This is really happening. Every now and then, guys like that appear on a battlefield. Someone special, you know? I squint in my eyes and confirm the situation. Check the terrain, air currents, his plane, his maneuvers, and his remaining ammo. I figured I could do it. I knew what I was getting into, but he still outmaneuvered me beyond my expectation. <laughs> Live action cutscenes. You guys remember when they used to do this shit? Interview two, the Fallen. Team is number two. Former member of the Belkin Air Force. Fifth Air Division. Twenty-third Tactical Fighter Squadron. Rainer Altman. He flew the skies of Directus during the capital's liberation. And he's still there to this day. I met him above this very sky. I can still hear the sound of the missile alerts from that day. I received an order to fly to Directus on my way back from an intercept mission on the southern defense line. The order itself wasn't unusual. We kept being deployed from one mission to the next without receiving even the basic maintenance. But the situation was the same all around. We were late reaching the operational space. The station squadrons had already retreated, and warning bells were going off in the city. And the people were looking up to his plane, high above the sky. It felt like he could see right through me. He was always one step ahead of me. He matched every combat maneuver I made until I used up every trick in the book. Dude, I don't, this still gives me goosebumps. I have no idea why. It's just so cool. Team Commander. And this is the one that we just took out. The F-14s in the last episode. Eric Hillenbrand. 
He never had great ambitions. All he ever hoped for was to make a living as a regular pilot. Today he works as a flight instructor for civilian pilots. The instant he shot me, I pulled the lever. <laughs> I barely managed to escape from my plane as it burst into flames. After drifting from the blast, I landed below the round table. It was a wide open, barren wasteland. How long would I have to wait for a rescue party? Radio interference within the round table was fierce. The odds of a distress signal actually reaching anyone was low. I was at a loss for what to do. Anyway, I'd really gone out with a bang this time. I took you that can... as a sign it was time for me to retire. You can tell that that's not him then, speaking. I heard a roaring overhead. It was his plane. I was jealous of his calm flying form. Rather than wait for the rescue team, I began to walk toward the nearest base. I was driven by desire to get back up there and fight him again. Of course, it did take me three days to get there. Every time I flew with him, his skill stood out. He was unstoppable. He was cool-headed and proud, a combat professional. Demon Lord fit him perfectly. Maybe the man was blessed by the goddess of war. Before long, everyone had taken notice of him. More and more would show up to watch him go off on sortie. Mercenaries or maintenance crew, it didn't matter. People wanted to burn his image to their memories. Hell. They weren't the only ones. <laughs> oh man, I I haven't. It's been so long since I played this game. Like I don't remember most of what this most of these cutscenes. All right, Mission Eleven Inferno. The Belkin forces are beginning to take flight. The industrial city of Hoffnung is crucial to the enemy's industrial strategy and the heart of its war productions. The Allied forces have decided that all Belkin war production must be stopped to expedite the end of the war, and has requested our participation in this operation. The operation will primarily involve the bombing of ground facilities by the Allied forces' bombers. Your mission is to support those bombers and attack enemy facilities. We have achieved near total air supremacy over the target area, but don't let your guard down. There may still be sporadic resistance. All right, I mean, this sounds like it could be an A-10 mission. I don't see any air resistance. Um, but I think we're just going to stick with the F-15 anyway. Let me see. And here's the EA-6. F-14. I mean, I could buy bombs. Oh, no, I can't. I can't afford them. All right. Whatever. Let's just go with the F-16 or F-15. This is, I guess, contingency in case we have to face off an ace. It is dark. Okay, there's a river here. There we go. To all bombers, remove Belka's ability to counterattack. Priority is placed on destruction over accuracy. All right, we're gonna spare the yellow targets. Wait, they say priority is destruction over accuracy? Yep.
So it There are some air forces here. Gotcha. Okay, so there, there it is. The Belkins are also burning the city. So not only are the allies um, just bombing anything instead of the, the targets they're supposed to be going after, but the Belkins that are fleeing are also setting fire to things before they evacuate. Man, where are, the, where are those bombs hitting? I wanted to see that. Come here. Nope. CH forty seven. A ten Pelican. Oh, what a shot! I think these last two air targets might be the last ones. Mission update. F-35 stealth, yep. Good thing we didn't come in an A-10. Oh my god, there's a ton of them! Hammer. Oh, there's B2s. Look, there's enemy bombers. It's a conspiracy. It's Bel Belka stealth bombers. I'm going to crash.
Where'd that other B2 go? Dude, I can't see anything. I need to find this jammer. He's gotta be right on top of me. Mayday, mayday, oh. Mayday. That's it? Down all Belkin fighters. Nobody knew why they were fighting anymore. All I felt at that point was sadness for the world. That's yeah. why I... That's why you what, Pixie? Alright, so yeah, so the Belkins have adopted a scorched earth policy where they're just they're just bombing everything. Pursued by Allied forces, the Belkin forces have taken flight, abandoning Hofna. Without military production capabilities. Belka is in a bind. We were also able to confiscate samples of what seemed to be experimental weapons from the abandoned war factories before Belka had time to use them. Oh, there we go. We're full night after that. Okay. Well, no. New addition to the assault records. And that's it. We're going to save. Um, yeah, after seeing this... And if you guys remember the story of Ace Combat 5, uh, you probably have an idea of what's coming next, or at least soon. Um, yeah, if not, then, well, stay tuned. You're going to find out. That's it for this one, though. Thank you all for watching. Mobius1 here, and I'll see you in the next one.